Okay, I have just starting my yarn. I've got to collect all my makes. They are everywhere. <laughs> I still have to pack this table up where I do the videos. Let my samples. This is a project bag. Oop, there's my shoes. Oop, you were supposed to be with the other yarn. So I've got some stray puzzle yarn I need to put with the rest of it. So let's go see what that kind of chaos looks like. Okay. The chaos. These are, I have my projects, which I want to do what I did here. I have a few more. I ordered a few more skeins to add to this blanket, um, the bee stitch blanket I made. Um, I was wanted to make it a little bit bigger, plus I'm going to put a border on it. Um, you can't see because of all the other stuff. This is this blanket. I whipped a old blanket I found and caked them up and all my granny squares are in there. These are random hanks. To be honest about it, I forgot them because they were in the bottom of a container. And that's what I've done with a lot of this. I found yarn that I forgot I had. Some of this you've seen in like Hirschner's hauls. This is mix match stuff. I've got a lot of black it looks like. Put that by the other black. It's not the same. But I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should cake the balls and see if those will pack better but I'm not sure this was a find at a Goodwill it's a vintage yarn I can tell by the feel of it and I love the colors and then I found this in a container I don't have that many of them just have three so I have a little over 700 yards but I found all this different colors it's move move I've got like one two Oh, there's more somewhere. Where are they? Oh, in black. I've got black, white, and this blue. I found like odds and ends. I have, but you can tell it's all Hobby Lobby clearance. Then I have a lot of this Lazy Days. And I've got two of each color. The blues, grays, and taupes. And this is a Hirschner's haul. This was for a blanket, temperature blanket leftovers, and that's what I think those are. Then we have a stray. These were in little drawers. I have, um, let's see if we can show it good. This, I, I, I think I need to cake it. I'm not sure. This is how I got it. This was probably a Goodwill find. And this was a um, my first... Uh, win on Jessica's live one time and this was a blanket this was a, a wrap that wasn't the right size and then I have all these you can tell when this is not just one Hobby Lobby clearance this is a couple of them it's pretty gray and then I have these little mismatched stuff that I found at uh, Goodwill for 99 cents and then the same thing with the brunette here. Soft. Then I have all these. I did try to... Ah, dropped it. Highlights. You can see the sparkle in them. I think that's pretty. Those are the just two colors I have. I'm trying to think. Do I have... I have the gold of just being accent with those. Project with strays. Project. Odds and ends. So I've got to get this organized. This is a box I found at Goodwill. This, whoop, come back here. Chase yarn, my puzzle yarn. Goodwill fine yarn. That's a Celtic blanket project I want to make. This box was just a Hirschner's order that I just repacked. And don't mind the mess. You know what it's like to move, probably. I have these drawers. Ooh, and I see letters and numbers back there okay so I'm gonna I've got a whole bunch of um, my brain 
There's my knitting needles that I don't use, but I think they're pretty. Some of them are older. And then we start here. I want, I will pack these. I've got to put these with the rest of them. I have another one of these. I need to put these together. Oh, I have knitting tools. I already have some of those packed. I've shoved them in boxes. So this is what it looks like now. And I will show you when I figure out, let's see. This is a project. This is the temperature break for our granddaughter. You can see I've got all kinds of, um, oh, those bags to shrink. Here is at an end some of my hanks that I've had for a while some velour and these go with that project back there so I'm going to right now finish uh, I've got to get my project book out and see what project these go to this one um, the peach go to this one this is another granddaughter's blanket you can see the peach there I've got to put it with that and then I need to see if some of the other odds and ends go with a project I finished or if that's just extra. So then I've got to put all my projects together. So all these squares plus the puzzle yarn will go in a bag. And um, okay, that's what I'm having to face. Some of them I've already put in bags. You can see part of the bags here and there should be one with black. It's probably buried. Then I have some red heart over here that's a um, project blanket that i'm going to make from um, bag a day actually those two bags that are pre-packed are bag a day blankets that i want to recreate so my biggest thing is like uh, i'll see if i whether or not you can see i left every my some of my equipment out or i'm going to hank these or because there's, I don't know, probably Hank's probably better because I think it's a three ounce Hank I make with those. But, uh, yeah, so this is the, me starting my crochet yarn adventure here. Oh, here's more yarn. Here's more yarn everywhere. Um, you came from somewhere. Where'd you come from? I have a whole bag of that. And I try to put them in, in bags. So I know what, what they're together in projects. I'll just probably repack this box. I won't shrink wrap or shrink bag those. Okay, so before. <laughs> and then we will try to do an after. This is just the room. And I mean, I got storage stuff back here. These are all craft containers that I have. These are all craft boxes of either paper crafts or some, that's my granddaughter's things this is her room um and toys for that and that's what a lot of this is um i've got oh here's that project there it goes that's where it escaped from okay all right this is all i love these are my meal ends from Kirshner's. so i am going to try to do this and we'll take you along if you like Okay, so far, I packed, I went ahead and used these drawers to pack everything in. These are jam-packed. I had to zip tie the lids down. And I was just going to kind of show you some of these uh, old, what I think is old. Uh, there we go. Susan Bates. Nine and a fourth millimeter has an orange tip. Um, some of them are bamboo. I'm gonna have to get into some of them and see what they're actually made of. This is, I don't know what this is. It might be, let me see if I can get a, I mean, it's a vanilla colored. It doesn't feel wood, but it's a wood tip. But I've used to make to the Susan Bates. Let's try to see if I had any more. Um, let me see. Let's see where are you? 
voids. And I don't know if these are just wood ones or... But anyway, you might have to look into the Susan Bate one. It's US 13. But the way it's written, I'm, I think it's going to be, fair, you know, a decent age. And I learned that originally Susan Bates did not put their names on them. So that was interesting. I did some history looking. This is what's left. I've got my cord here that I'm making belts, bags, and keychains with. I don't know why I bought this, but it's a crafting cord then you can make like rugs with it it's even got the crochet um 16 millimeter and these are future pumpkins i'm gonna make so and it's still a wreck in here here is another drawer all three of my drawer systems three one two three yep have yarns in them they're just jammed in there um i still have more to go i got all my containers i need to i have this basket of mismatched yarn i have here this stuff is hiding out over here oh my goodness i've got another table organizing type thing like this but it's got a hard top here it is and we're going to cram as much as we can in it um and this is also mix match this is full of a lot of my hanks and then my primer puzzle and just odds and ends hopefully that can be traveled the way it is so i'm hoping that last container will put the last of it and then i need to put all my project bags together i love these project bags if you're an Aldi shopper, this is where I got them. I paid like $2 for these. And I have one, two, three. Oh, I think I've got another one floating around somewhere. So they're perfect for putting projects in, taking them with me. And um, I'm trying to see if this is more yarn back here. I don't think so. I think it's crafts. Yeah, those just crafts. It says bedroom on it. So... Those are craft projects. All right, there's an update. So I just got a little bit more to do. Oops, I got the hiccups, bad timing. Okay, so I was just gonna show everything, I think, packed up. I have this one un with the lid off because I'm afraid I'll find something else. Every time I think I'm done, I come across something else. It has my camera holder and light and some odds and ends. This is a project bag. And then some yarn that's left over but uh, the rest of this room is just crafts but here is the closet of yarn uh, we have three of these drawers full of yarn so one two three I always keep thinking I have another one floating around somewhere one two three and then I shoved yarn into this this was um, just a craft drawer and then we have three of these black totes oh see this that's why I didn't I gotta put these up if someone knows about knitting needles I would love to know I know these are old because those are the Susan Bates but if someone can tell me let me see these I mean they're wood they're not bamboo they are wood but there's nothing on them. I would be thrilled if these are like some of the older Susan Bate ones because they didn't put their name on a lot of them. Or is it just... I love the fact that I found these even though I don't knit. But um, anyway, and these right here are so different. Oop, pay attention here. These are so different. This one, oh here, this one actually has something on top. Um... Is it going to show up? See what it is? Let's take the light off and see. Oh, 
Oh, what does that say, guys? I don't know, but they're made like the other ones, so I'd be curious if it's the same company, and they're in rough shape, but again, these are just, I found these, um, those are, I think, voids, so I don't think they're old or anything, I don't know yet, they could be older ones, but anyway, um, I need to put them in this container. And if you haven't seen, um, ta-da! That's my fun part. Um, I've got a lot of packing done, so I'm not going to really complain a tremendous amount. I don't, I think that's, I'm going to tell you what, I'm hoping I'm not moving again, because this is just craziness, because I'm at that point where, uh, I got a lot of things packed, not yarn, but I have to figure out how I'm going to pack all these. These all had yarn in them. They're my project. I had a uh, project not started, but in here I had odds and ends. I've got my project bags here. Everything up here had yarn in it. Oh, and I've got to pack my books. Oh, well, there's always something else. But anyway... Just to update, at least on the yarn, you don't really want to know about the rest of the stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. Um, I'm trying to think. This is the only one that's out of the closet that's yarn, but I did pretty good. I need to move it, but with my wrist right now, I'm, I'm just not priority to do that. Uh, my son's coming to help me Tuesday. So hopefully we can finish this up. All right, that's it. If you uh, noticed, I did not do a um, hexagon, and I apologize if you were looking forward to that. I will get everything back. Next week's a rough week because it's a lot of finished packing. And um, all my yarn's packed. So if I can curb going to buy yarn, just to do it they do a tutorial but my my camera holders all packed up too so probably going to be a quiet week next week but um i appreciate you joining me here and hope you watch the whole video please give it a thumbs up my goal is if i reach i like to say a thousand i'm going to try to do a nice giveaway because that's a nice goal or achievement and i would love to do that but, um, so that's the only big announcement. Uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.